Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So you can see a gap there. And uh, I've taken my giant centipede enclosure off the shelf. And I was just going to check it, see if the centipede's okay. So as I move the shelf, my centipede went absolutely nuts. It's been sleeping at the back of the enclosure here. Just grabbing a lot of um, a lot of heat from the heat cables. And I haven't seen it for two or three weeks. So water dish needs filling up. But there it is just there. Oh my God. Look at the size of that. I'm not too sure if it's uh, mounted because if you didn't know guys, centipedes actually eat their malt. Sorry about the uh, reflection, but I don't really want to take this piece of glass because it could become a little bit dangerous if it tries to escape. You have two pieces of glass here. You've got one just here and I've just taken the the top off as well so you have double lid oh, it's on the move it's uh probably moving back at the back of the enclosure and if you look on here you have a double mesh so this is a, a proper enclosure for a centipede and you can see the enclosure it's a big enclosure it's just got sand at the bottom so like i said i'm going to be filling up that water dish so let's just switch my light on so let's just move that second piece of glass it's just got to be extra careful just got to make sure i know where the centipede is um, yeah a bite from the centipede won't be very nice And there you go that's all you do fill up the water dish and that will create enough humidity in the enclosure let's close that first lid and just put the second lid on and there we go guys it's an heavy enclosure that's why i um rearranged my shelving i put this enclosure here at the bottom so it was on this shelf here, but it was so, so heavy. So I was just a little bit scared that the these parts here were going to break. So that's why I put it down there. But it does look okay. And um, as you know, I housed my Chinese fawn, Chilo Brachy's Hawane. And look at that. Started webbing up already. <laughs> it's doing okay. I put some sphagnum moss, guys, inside the enclosure just to create some more humidity so i'll start spraying the enclosure like you know once a week or so so yeah you can see it's webbing up everywhere so yeah it looks like oh there's the uh centipede just there guys a little bit difficult to see because it's a little bit uh dirty on the inside but yeah there it is so yeah just a little quick uh update on my centipede guys and uh thanks for watching everyone 